Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Marcus Aurelius, and this is Thea, The Awakening. And we have quite an interesting situation developing here for us. We have a four-star goblins army that are near where the Ice Princess is. And there's nothing really for us to gather where we currently are, although we currently are running out of our two most common resources, wood and, well, not really food, but wood, definitely. So here in Aurelia, I am building another pasture. Now this pasture is being built using regular wood, not ancient wood. So it's not quite as good. It'll attract two humans, whereas the one I built originally attract three. But still, we just need more people. And I mean, I could use elven wood, I suppose. I don't think it made a difference. Elven wood, regular wood, mushrooms. Yeah, attract human two, regular wood, attract human two, no difference. And if I switch out the mushrooms with vegetables, also no difference. And if I want to use fruit, also no difference. So in that case, there's no reason to use anything but our basic wood and our basic vegetables, and it'll pump our human quotient up a little bit. I would like another watchtower for some more elves, but we don't have enough elven wood. A cabbage field, if you'll take a look here, my current cabbage field is amazing. It attracts three children and two humans. It's made out of ancient wood and vegetables. It would probably even be better if I used something better than vegetables, but I don't have any ancient wood, so nothing I could produce in terms of cabbage fields would even make a dent. I'd rather get fully grown villagers anyways, instead of just children. I'm also crafting some food in a gathering basket, and I'm trying to get as much vegetables and wood as I can here. So let's go back to the away team. And let's head up here. It is nighttime. But we can see what these are, and maybe we could fight the Goblin's Arby, and maybe we can check out the Icy Princess and see what she's up to. And we win. Easy. Interesting. What the hell? This is almost like a replay of our team here. Okay. This is very interesting. We get the first move. And that's going to be Amara. They've got a goblin boar rider. Oh, wow. Is this the goblin army? How the heck did it get here so quickly? 11 blunt damage. We can confuse him with 5. What about 4? Nope. Can't confuse him with 4. Right, he's level 5. We could shield Amara quite a bit, though. That's one thing that uh, Mingan is really good at. Let's confuse him, and let's shield Amara. A warrior? Uh-oh. This, this might be the end of us, folks. This is a tough party. Have we just been wasting our time here? Like, have we not leveled up as fast as we could? I'm not even playing on that hard of settings. All right, Lion. Do what you can. So she'll get... She'll manage to maybe kill one of these guys and harm the next, but then she'll get a free shot with 24 damage to either her or Lion. Both of them can handle it, but then he'll get 27 damage. So these two combined will be able to do some real damage here. But, oh man, she's only level 3. I could have confused her. Counter offense seems like a smart thing to do. Craftsman, not that useful. Shoot. Warrior, okay. Alright, let's confuse her. Why not? It's the best we could do here. Oh man, none of these, these guys are good at like taking hits, but not good at delivering them, I guess. 
Rowan. The Sage is I'm not too worried about. They just moved their Confused Warrior to the front. I'm not worried about that either, because Amara should be able to take him if she chooses to do so. Okay, Carl. And is it better to counter tactic or shield Carl by six? Let's counter tactic. Wasted card. Damn it. Damn it. Move the Sage to the front. That's interesting. And our Tannis will bring up the rear. This is going to be bloody, folks. <laughs> this is going to be really bad. Alright. Mara is still hanging on. But we didn't even touch the Boar Riders and Amara's dead. Lion, dead. Rowan, Carl managed to take out the warrior. Oh boy. Alright. We have a hunter here. Let's get Connor Platt out there. Damn boar rider. First action, Connor. Confuse the hunter. And first action, Connor. Craftsman's not that bad. Okay, the boar riders are both confused. That will help us. Let's get Mingan out there. Counter offense of four. What are the odds that's a level four? Not good. Wasted card. Damn it. Alright. Erica. And we'll shield you. And then Artanis. Here we go. All right, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Connor's about done for. All right, we won the battle, but Connor, Amara, and Lion all got just completely rocked. We did gain a ton of stuff. A King's Warhammer made out of gold and quartz. Heavy armor. Iron and Amber. So what's the special ability that the Amber gives it? Don't know. Dark Pendant, Faint, Folklore, and Gathering. Interesting. And then some Wheat. Well, unfortunately we have to camp here just to pray and hope that our people do not die. Carl, Exotic Root. Erica Leather. Raven wood. And from what I heard, once you get it down to one day, it doesn't really matter if you put more people on it. Because you can only get, I guess, a certain limit per day, regardless of how many people you have. That's kind of weird, but I guess that's how it goes. All right, let's hope for the best here. Nope. Lion Gatewatch. And Connor Platt are dead. Artanis was not able to heal them. They were too wounded. And they were the two our two probably strongest fighters. That was a fiasco. I don't even know what that group of people was. It wasn't even the Goblin's army. But they just destroyed us. Completely. Never seen anything like it. Amara is slowly getting better. Hopefully Artanis will do her thing. 
that losing Lion was huge. Losing Connor was huge. They were amazing additions to our team. So what do the Talking Bones do? Perception. Okay. Artanis can have that. And damage two. How about Mingan? Mingan's wearing a bracelet? Okay. What does this do? Oh, the Folklore and Gathering? That should go to someone who does that kind of stuff. Erica. Alright, wow. Holy moly, we got creamed. Well, a hero's death to Lion Gate Watch and Connor Platt. They served us well. They served us well. And we need to hurry back to the village. Oh my goodness. Well, whatever. A figure, clad in ragged, dark green cloak, slowly approaches your party. As he gets closer, it is clear he is barefooted and carries nothing more than the clothes on his back. And he looks suspiciously like the elf that we talked to in the giant tree. Seeing your party, the figure takes off the hood to reveal a gaunt, tired face of an elf with his blackened, sad eyes looking straight through the souls of your men. Despite the evident sickliness, there remains an air of grace, a whisper of bygone beauty in the forgotten, ancient creature. He stretches his arms before you in a gesture of peace, but does not speak. Try to talk to him. You approach the wanderer, mimicking his sign of peace. You speak up. This is a dangerous road to be roaming on your own, sir. Are you alright? There is no reply from the figure, and so your men make another attempt. As they get closer, the elf steps back and waves at them to stay away. Do you need any help? You seem sickly. The elf shakes his head in response and bows slightly to say thank you. He starts moving again, but you see that his pace is very slow, as if every step is a measured effort. Now he's waving us away, probably because he's some kind of dangerous creature, but I just want to see what happens here, so let's see if we can give him some basic supplies. The elf seems uneasy when you approach with the supplies, but when you place the small bag before him, he musters up a smile and bows once more in thanks. He takes the bag and closes his eyes, making a hand gesture toward the skies, the earth, and then the ground. You recognize this as the symbol of the cosmic tree. The figure moves away from the party, his step clearly made lighter by the kindness of your men, and some of you feel a strange energy run through your veins. So we lost two vegetables and some stew, and in return we didn't really get much, just a blessing, but it's only going to last a certain number of turns, so... Eh. Mingan is becoming a better tactician. Armara is more healthy, along with Raven and Imperator. Artanis is smarter. Rowan is better at herbalism. Carl's better at perception. Erica is better at will. Pika is better at gathering, which sucks because she's one of our best producers. So why the hell would I want her to gather anything? Nazos is a better speaker. Arcanus is more willful. Jeremiah has become healthier. Selena is better at gathering. Matthews has become more attractive by a lot. Lily Timbers is better at will. Hannah's gained strength. Kalia Intelligence, a lot of intelligence, and Miroslav has become a better speaker. Let's rid the world of these spiders, first of all. And we hunted them and won, and all's well in the world. Heading back to Aurelia. Well, we're down to 18 people now, because of the deaths of two of our great heroes. So now, Mingan has the Monster Slayer. 
and has 5 damage, 5 shielding, and 1 backstab. This is... I'm going to give him the Dragonfly Song. Dragon Scale Armor, is there anything better than that? Oh wow, we have so much stuff. Monstrous, monster bone shell, 12 armor, 11 armor, 1 leech. Oh, I like the leech, though. 14 armor, that might be worth it. 16 armor. Alright, we'll give him that. And the necklace gives you improved gathering. I guess Selena can have that. We have a lot of these necklaces. They seem to be all over the place. Carl? Wow. You got rocked pretty bad. Okay, so let's give away... Mingan. You can have a gathering basket. Kalia. Basically, everyone who doesn't have the ability to produce something will get a gathering basket. Just to improve our gathering overall as a team. Oh boy, ladies and gentlemen. Well, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to rearm and armor my team to best spread out the abilities of the weapons. I'll break down some weapons to get base materials, and then I will come back. Alright? So just a moment. Alright, folks. We're back. And that took a long time. This file is going to be huge. I wish there was a way I could figure out how to pause my recorder as opposed to just keep continuing to record. But regardless, Expedition 1 is ready to go. And we're making, out of the last of our elven wood, we're making a new watchtower so that hopefully we'll attract ever more elves. And we're going to head up to these goblins here. Oh wow, another four skull army. This is this is beyond us. I just we must be doing something wrong because we are just no match for these things that are coming after us. You discover the ruins of some great old city. Whoever resided in these walls is long gone, yet many buildings still stand tall and proud. Three Skull Challenge. Let's do it. Damn it. We really wanted her. But we didn't get her. Well, let's see what happens. At least we have good health. We just don't have good attack. So let's start with Mingan. They're level six, huh? Nice. Ouch. Counter tactic. Okay, hopefully that'll help us somewhat. Let's go with Amara. The problem is, we're just not even going to be able to kill one of these guys. Artanis. Confuse. Get closer. Kalia and Rowan. Well, we'll see what happens. At least we have a ton of attacks.
Hmm. Well, we really take out one of them. All right. Not terrible. Why cannot we get her in our hand? You're crying out loud. Counter tacticing is our best option here. Artanis is actually relatively decent, though. Now ah, let's do it. Oh, that was worth it. That was totally worth it. We have to maximize our strengths here. Alright, let's put out Kalia. And Imperator. They can take the hits from these guys. Which will leave us... Let's throw Eric out there. And then we'll do Carl. And Raven. So Kalia just soaks up damage. Okay, not bad. All right, we seem to be doing okay. I like the idea of bringing Raven out last because that way she, she's very weak. She can't get attacked, but she can attack. So let's counter tactic. Confuse. That, I misclicked. I wanted to click counter tactic. That sucked. That really sucked. Artanis? We're in trouble now. Okay, lay out your card. Erica and Raven. This is tough. But at least Raven could take one of them out per turn. Artanis is gone. Okay. Reshuffle. We gotta get Raven. Alright, good. Counter tactic. Brilliant. Level 6, so we cannot confuse him. It's okay. Erica will be our sacrificial lamb. And... He can't charge in, I guess. That doesn't make sense, but... Then we'll have Rowan. And then Raven. Okay. Man, we are just barely making this happen here. Confuse. Carl. Erica. Raven. And just in case... Shield Raven. But I think we have this. Oh, man. That was probably the most difficult battle that we've ever had that we actually came out victorious. It was tight for a moment, but we managed to do it. We find 23 steel, 10 gold, and 11 obsidian. That was amazing. That was fantastic. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of this episode. And what a good way to end it. We did lose, unfortunately, two of our great heroes. But we did manage to score a great victory and a lot of really cool stuff. So once again, I am Marcus Aurelius. This is Thea, The Awakening. Thank you so much for watching. 
have a good one.